Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever you are connecting connecting from. We thank you so much. We thank you for coming to join us today. Uh, this is Beaumont Emmanuel Global Ministry, which I uh, have uh, joined with other ministers in different different ministry, different um, different um, denominations uh, and it's very important for us to understand that um, that yes, we come different with different denomination, different uh, backgrounds but uh, we come together in one accord because it's the Spirit of God that is joining each and every one of us. So we don't come here because of, of religion, we don't come here because of denomination, we come here because of the relationship of our Heavenly Father. So thank you so much, all those who have joined us, because this is a non-denomination where we welcome everybody because our father died for everyone. He died for everyone. He did not die for denomination. He did not die for religion. He died for you and me. He died for the relationship that he want to have with us. So all of you, we welcome you all in the name of Jesus because God is the one who who has brought each and every one of you here to worship him. So we are gonna uh, have, um, we are going to have as uh, ministers of God uh, who are going to be the moderator, gonna be Pastor Peter. Then we are going to have uh, uh, Minister Mateo then we are going to have Minister Asa. Then we are going to have Apostle Alex, uh, no, no, uh, Apostle Salim. Uh, all, all these ministers, they have something for us. They have been given something by God to give it to us. So they are going to feed the flock of Jesus. We are the flock of Jesus, and they have, and they must, they must feed the flock of Jesus because they have been given that assignment by God, not by any man or woman or any other spirit, but it's by God Almighty. So let's commit this meeting to the hand of God because he's ever present. He said where two or three are gathered in his name, he'll be always be in the midst of us. So. Thank you, all of you, for coming, and let's start with the prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing in our lives. We ask you to please forgive us all our sins, which we have done knowingly and knowingly. Please, Father, forgive us. My God, cleanse us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, my Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. We magnify your name because you're worthy to be praised. You're worthy, Almighty God. You're worth all our praise and honor. Thank you, Jesus, Father. Thank you for forgiving us all our sins. Thank you for cleansing us with the blood of Jesus Christ so as we can be covered with the blood of Jesus Christ as, and we can be presented. Uh, we can be presenting to you, to your dear Father. We thank you, Jesus, because you are worthy to be praised, oh dear Father. We thank you, Jesus, for that blood of Jesus Christ that covers us covers us so as we can be sweet smelling aroma father my god oh dear father as we begin this this platform of faith i ask you in the name of jesus christ father let everyone who come and join here let their life never be the same again father let their life never be the same again let their life never be the same again let them receive more than what they came for in Jesus' name, and it's in Jesus' name we thank you, Father, because you always honor me, you always hear me, you always answer me. Father, thank you, Jesus, for blessing each and every person 
who come here. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on others in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy the kingdom, the power, the glory are all yours. Now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now, now and forevermore. Amen. Now I will come, Pastor Peter, for modality. Pastor Peter, unmute yourself, please. Thank you. Oh, thank you so very much, uh, brethren, for this opportunity that I've already been crying. And I'm, I'm so grateful that you have come. My name is Peter Deco, and I worship with Rivers Ministries International just here in Portland, Oregon, um, in an area where we call Table Space. It's by 441 uh, Portland, Oregon. And uh, if you happen to come visit uh, Portland, you can always come. It happens to be on a Sunday. Uh, either you're in Portland or they're joining cities like Gresham, like Beaverton, we have Clackamas, we have uh, Happy Valley, and, uh, and even the ones which are a little further than that, you can always, you are more than welcome to come worship with us at starting at exactly 1.30 p.m., ending at 5 p.m. That's a lot of worship service, and you will really enjoy it. Thank you. Now, for today, we are going to go straight to the, uh, the preacher for today. Is none other than Minister Mattel. And uh, uh, yeah, so uh, Minister Mattel, welcome and feed the flock of God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around the globe. I just want to say uh, to all the people that joined us, we want to say thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We do not take it for granted. And also, uh, thank you so much. It is uh, an honor and a privilege uh, to preach the word of God for my Father in heaven, who has always taken care of me, he's taking care of you, he's taking care of everybody in the whole world who believes in him. I would like to share from Ephesians. I believe Ephesians is a great uh, book to constantly read because a lot of times uh, we sometimes have, for example, self-esteem problems or we might feel insecure in the natural. Yeah, that's completely normal. We're trying to be accepted. But since we have to remind ourselves, especially reading Ephesians, that we are already accepted. We are truly accepted by God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And they accept us for who we are in Him. We are perfect in Him. I'd like to read from Ephesians 1. And I encourage you, like if you have a Bible, uh, go to Ephesians 1 with me. This is about full participation. It's not one person doing everything everybody participates because that is the way it's supposed to be in my opinion because we are supposed to edify each other encourage one another in the word in everything we do and do it all for the glory of a god not for ourselves starting in uh ephesians chapter one this is from the passion uh, translation one of my favorite versions dear friends my name is paul and I was chosen by God to be an apostle of Jesus, the Messiah. I'm writing this letter to all the devoted believers who have been made ho holy by being one with Jesus, the anointed one. May God himself, the heavenly father of our Lord Jesus Christ, release grace over you and impart total well-being into your lives. Our sonship in the father's plan. Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm has already been lavished upon us as a love gift from our wonderful heavenly father, the father of our Lord Jesus, all because he sees us wrapped in Christ. This is why we celebrate him with all our hearts. He chose us to be his very own, joining us to himself even before he laid the foundation of the universe. Because of his great love, he ordained us 
so that we would be seen as holy in his eyes with an unstained innocence. For it was always in his perfect plan to adopt us as his delightful children through our union with Jesus, the anointed one, so that his tremendous love that cascades over us would glorify his grace. For the same love he has for his beloved one, Jesus, he has for us. And this unfolding plan brings him great pleasure. Since we are now joined to Christ, we have been given the treasures of redemption by his blood, the total consolation of our sins, all because of the cascading riches of his grace. This superabundant grace is already powerfully working in us, releasing within us all forms of wisdom and practical understanding. And through the revelation of the anointed one, he unveiled his secret desires to us, the hidden mystery of his long range plan which he was delighted to implement from the very beginning of time because of the God's unfailing purpose. This detailed plan will reign supreme through every period of time until the fulfillment of all the ages finally reaches its climax. When God makes all things new in all of heaven and earth through Jesus Christ. Through our union with Christ, we too have been claimed by God as his own inheritance. Before we were even born, he gave us our destiny that we would fulfill the plan of God who always accomplishes every purpose and plan in his heart. God's purpose was that we Jews, who are the first to learn for the messianic hope, would be the first to believe in the anointed one and bring great praise and glory to God. And because of him, when you who are not Jews heard the revelation of truth, you believe in the wonderful news of salvation. Now we have been stamped with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. He is given to us like an engagement ring, is given to a bride as the first installment of what's coming. He is our hope, our promise of a future inheritance which seals us until we have all of redemption's promises and experience complete freedom, all for the supreme glory in honor of God. Because of this, since I first heard about your story, strong faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your tender love toward all his devoted ones, my heart is always full and overflowing with thanks to God for you as I constantly remember you in my prayers. I pray that the Lord, that the Father of glory, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ will impart to you the riches of the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation to know him through your deepening intimacy with him. And I wanted to stop there because, uh, obviously because of time, and not only that, uh, one of the points I want to share is through, through those 17 verses of Ephesians chapter one, if you're feeling unaccepted, unloved, if you're feeling that everybody's against you, you feel rejected. Go to Ephesians 1. Go to Ephesians 1 because our Father accepts us for who we are in Him as we serve Him, believe in Him, believe in His promises. And even there, even today, uh, every day, always seeking after His wisdom because it says in James 1, it says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God and he will give it to him. Just as very similar portion here, uh, I would like to read that part one more time. This, this is Paul uh, talking to the Christians in Ephesus, Ephesus in Asia Minor, which is modern day Turkey. And he, this, part, this, this letter, is to uh, the Christians in Ephesus. It's basically towards believers. All the scriptures in this book of Ephesians are directly towards the Christians of Ephesus. I would like to, before I close, I'd like to read those last two verses again. I pray that the Father of glory, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, would impart to you the riches of the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation, to know him through your deepening intimacy with him, 
I pray that the light of God will illuminate the eyes of your imagination, flooding you with light until you experience the full revelation of the hope of his calling. That is the wealth of God's glorious inheritance, inherent inheritances that he finds in us, his holy ones. And those last two verses that I encourage all of you, like in your time, those specific verses right there. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 17 through 18. But I encourage you, of course, read all of Ephesians 1. Because if you are feeling a certain way, there's days, you know, we we feel happy, we feel sad. Ephesians, and like if you're feeling depressed, uh, etc. Ephesians 1 is always a great reminder of our Father. To all the people who have joined us, and wonder who is this father you are talking about i'm really interested i really want to get to know him he is our father he's your father you have a wonderful opportunity come to him embrace him as your father he loves you and cares about you he sent his son jesus christ to die on the cross for all of our sins, all our transgressions, all our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. With the stripes, we are healed. We are redeemed by Jesus' blood. Also, we have the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. And God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are your true, are going to be your true friends no matter what. Regardless if you have friends or don't have friends in the natural but just a reminder, come as you are. You don't have to try to clean yourself up and like, oh, I must clean my life up before I come to Jesus, before I come to God. No, it's better to come right now instead of later because we are never promised tomorrow. Life is too short and he loves all of us so much. He, he, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, they're standing right there with arms open wide, ready to receive you when you believe by faith. Let us pray. Father, I know I can't save myself. I know you promised to save those who repent and put their faith in Jesus alone. I trust you to forgive my sins so that I may receive eternal life. Thank you for sending your son to die in my place and make my salvation possible. In Jesus' name, amen. Pastor Peter, please. Uh, thank you so much uh, for that uh, wonderful uh, preaching. And now uh, we're going to go straight to the, and we get to know the importance of the baptism of the Holy Ghost and we'll be led by none other than Minister uh, Isa. Welcome. Hello, everyone, and welcome. And as you know, I'll go over a few scriptures with you, uh, just to stressing the importance of the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the life in Christ. Um, <clears throat> your wife or your husband will walk beside you, and your best friend is closer than a brother. But with Jesus, it's even something different. Yeshua is in you like nothing else. <clears throat> when you die, he lives. Um, you are not, you are not behind him. You are not following him. You are not <clears throat> beside him. He is not always beside you, but the Bible teaches us he is in us. That is what the Holy Spirit came back for. That is why Jesus left in the flesh and he sent the comforter to baptize us into himself, into oneness with Jesus. I know that that's, when you think about it, it's something mystical and it's hard to understand, but this is the truth. And this is what the word of God is teaching us, and especially in the New Testament. And it's not really taught much today for some reason, um, which is which is a shame. Because when you pull yourself out of Christ, it makes it that much easier to keep being you. 
that's that's exactly what I think the devil's point is in in giving us this thought of you're not in Christ, you're following Christ or you're beside Christ or Christ is helping you along the way, you know, then you're always just a person trying, always just a person transitioning, always just doing your best. When you are in Christ, as the word of God teaches, as Paul told us over and over again in the New Testament, you become one with him and, and your life is no more yours. You have died of the flesh. For you died. This is Colossians 3, 3 through 4. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God, in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. That's the Bible. That's the teachings of the Bible. That is not how some of the newer translations tell it. But that is the teaching as it was meant to be taught. <clears throat> as we walked in Christ, as we walk and live in him. Also in Matthew 16, 25 through 27, these are hard teachings of Jesus. And he even had people leave him. I don't know if you know that or not, but Jesus had a big group of people following him at first. They were amazed at his miracles and his wonders and his signs. They were amazed at his teachings, even though they went over their head and they didn't understand a lot of it. But he had a huge following at first. But Jesus said things like this, for whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is it to a man that he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man will come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will reward each according to his works. Jesus said things like this over and over again. He told them to lose themselves and come and follow him. He told people, if you want to follow me, you come follow me right now. And, and one man would say, well, let me go and let me go say bye to my mom and dad, and then I'll come follow you. And he would say, you have no place with me if you have to go back and say bye to him. That's those were the words that Jesus used a lot of times. And other times he said, if you do not eat my flesh and drink my blood, then you have no place with me. And, and everyone here has probably heard of these scriptures because we take communion uh, daily or we host it anyways here daily and go over these scriptures over and over again. These kind of teachings made a lot of people leave. And then that's how Jesus ended up with this small group of 12 disciples, uh, because a lot of people just said, hey, this is this is hard teaching. You know, this man is 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 tough. He's hard. He's 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 demanding too much. <clears throat> and today in in a lot of the church, we don't demand too much anymore. We have went backwards and we have went back to. Oh, this is just easy. If you will just believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, then you will be saved, you know. And yes, that is scripture, but we have a part in it. And that is not all of the message. The part the part we have is to repent or to die and be baptized in the Holy Spirit, be made new and become one with Jesus Christ. When we become one with him, it everything will change. Everything will change. Only in the Spirit is there life. That is what the scripture says. And only in the spirit, when we walk in the spirit, is the law not against us. You know, the law of the Old Testament. Do this, do that. Do not do this. Do not do that. Touch not. <clears throat> All of the law that we can never we can never achieve on our own. When we walk in the spirit, it is no longer against us. We are free from it because we're walking in the righteousness of Christ. We're walking in the body and the spirit in the oneness with Jesus Christ, and that law has no cannot come against us. But if we are not in that in that oneness with Jesus Christ, if we are not baptized in the Holy Spirit, if we are not walking with one with Jesus Christ in this body, then that law can very well be against us, and then we are guilty of sin. That is the teaching of Paul throughout the New Testament, and all the churches that he wrote to. It comes down to that. And it comes down to, to what Jesus said when they tried to ask him, Lord, what must I do to enter the kingdom of God? I followed this commandment. I followed that commandment. You know what Jesus told them? He said, it's very good that you did that, but you must love the Lord your God with all of your heart, mind, body, soul, everything you are, strength, everything, and love your neighbor as yourself. If you do that, you're doing good. And when you think about that, if you unpack that, when you love God with all that you are, that's called being made perfect in love. 
That is what the disciples called it. They would say, this person is made perfect in love, or he's not. When you are made perfect in love, your life is hidden in Christ. It is one with Jesus. You, you would die for him. You would live for him, and you would do anything for him, and you have lost yourself completely, and you are one with him. All that matters is his mind. You are the body. You are the vessel, and he is filling you with his Holy Spirit and living in you and through you, and nothing else to you matters more than that. That is being made perfect in love. And that is what we all reach for, what we all pray for, what we all should should know. Three things will happen to you in this life in the spirit and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Three things I'll bring up right now. It's you don't have to work, but Christ will do the work in you and through you. That is one. It is the power of God. <clears throat> Many people have tried to live for Christ outside of him and done their best. Just like those people that were asking Jesus, what must I do to enter the kingdom of God? I have kept this commandment. I have done this and I have done that and I have done that. And Jesus would say, you know, you need to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, body and soul and strength. When you love him like that, when you are baptized in the Holy Spirit, something happens to you in power. You will actually not do the work. It will not be miserable to be good or be righteous because your nature will change. You will become like him. He can do something in you that will change you. And whatever sin you struggle with, it will be under control. It will be gone. It will be taken care of. It will die and Christ will live. There is a power to it. it and it's not you that has to do the labor. For Jesus said, all you who are wearied and burdened come to me because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He was speaking to all those people of the day that were trying to keep the law. And they couldn't quite do it and they were wore out from it. He was saying, come to me and rest in me. Let me live. When we are one together, I will do the work. I will change your nature. I will make you like me and like God. That way you can be like the disciples said, be holy as he is holy. Because it is possible in the spirit of God. Number two, you are free from the law when you walk in the spirit. That is told again and again and again, especially by Paul. There is no law against those who live in Christ and walk in the spirit. The law, you are free from the law because of what Jesus done, the sacrifice that he already has done for us on the cross. When we walk in him, we are covered with his righteousness and the law is not against us anymore. We are free from it and we are considered sinless. And number three, you will bring forth fruits to show your repentance. And this is a commandment of Jesus. This was a commandment of the John the Baptist. This was what the disciples talked about. And it is not talked about today. If you have repented, bring forth fruit to show you've repented. Many people have argued today in the church over and over again that you are not saved by works. So don't worry about what you do. You're saved. You're free. You know, that is that is not true. We must bring forth fruits to show our repentance. That is the words of Jesus. As he said, bring forth fruits, meet for repentance, prove your repentance. Because if you're not proving that you're repentant, then you're not, your faith is dead. <clears throat> Even his own brother James preached on this much in the book of James. He preached on it very hard if you read it. And that has made people stumble again and again because it sounds like James is telling people that you are saved by works. And if you don't do works, then you're not saved. No, James was telling you that if you are saved, you will bring forth fruit that prove your repentance. And if you do not bring forth fruit like that, then your faith is dying and you will fall away. As Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. If a branch does not bear fruit, Jesus said that it will wither and it'll fall off. It will die. Either that or God will pull it off and throw it in the fire. Those were the words of Jesus. They go right along with James. If you have repented of your sins and you are one with Christ, your nature will bring forth fruit that glorify God. And if you do not bring forth any fruit, then your faith is dying and you have to repent and you have to come to the Lord. You have to be baptized in the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will bring forth fruit unless you sit there and you quench him or, or you you grieve the Holy Spirit. You try your hardest to do the things that you shouldn't do and come against that nature that Christ is building inside of you, which is the nature of God. And, and he is killing the flesh. 
<clears throat> you will bring forth fruit. Your nature changes that much. Without the spirit of Jesus Christ, there is no life. This is why that scripture says that. Without the spirit of God, there is no life. And the law will be against you. In the spirit, you will be free. And there is no law against you. And I'll turn it back over to Pastor Peter. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, uh, uh, Brother Asa, for that uh, wonderful teaching about the importance of the baptism of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit. Um, for now, we're going straight to the to the other session, uh, that is the the Holy Communion. And I do believe that uh, you remember to carry at least some little bread, a cookie or a biscuit, um, and also some juice, uh, whatever, juice of whatever kind. And uh, and or if you don't have juice, you can take even uh, some little water, and uh, then we are going to read a little bit. We we'll go to John chapter six, and uh, we go to uh, yeah yeah. This is what then we go to verses fifty three. Then Jesus said unto them. Um, very, very, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and i in him and uh, so that is what you say that's how important it is actually to have to eat the holy communion and becoming one with christ one in him and therefore uh, we come to first corinthians 11 uh, starting with verse 23, and it says this, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. After this, uh, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, I hope you have broken your bread. A little, we are, we are, we are doing exactly what you were, what we were told to do. He break it and said, uh, "Let me go again. This computer is, uh, uh, yeah." And when he had given that, he break it and said, "Take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me." Let's go now to see the about the, the the juice. After the same manner, also he took the cup, which he uh, when he had supped, saying, "This cup is a new testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come." Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, Many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep in your death, of course. Many deaths that we keep hearing young people die around. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are distant of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. Carry uh, one for another. Uh, but we, but when we are judged, we are condemned of the world. Yeah. 
or if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that you come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. All right. So that is a setting uh, that we about the the Holy Ghost, the, about the Holy Communion, and it's that important. So then that's why we need to repent before we eat it. And so let us let us pray. Um, as we commit ourselves to the Lord, our dear Heavenly Father, we have heard how important it is, O Jehovah God, that we have to have the Holy Communion every day, Jehovah God. And another thing, we should not take it unworthily. We should always cleanse ourselves and we pray, Lord Jesus, that you may wash us and cleanse us, sanctify us, make us righteous and holy in our presence, Heavenly Father. Anything that we may have done, anything that we may have said, Heavenly Father, things that we may have listened that we shouldn't have listened, things that, which our God, we said we shouldn't have said, things which have, that we saw with our eyes and we should not have seen, of our God, out of the abundance of mercy and compassion, King of glory, we beseech thee, Lord, that you may forgive us, Lord. Cleanse us and wash us, sanctify us completely, that we be sinless in our presence, O oh, Heavenly Father. Even as we partake of this Lord's table, we pray, Lord, that you cleanse us completely, and we thank you, Lord, for doing it. For oh, it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So now, uh, you take the bread, he took the bread, he broke it, and said, Take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. Remember, it's just before his, his crucifixion. So you take it. So put them in the mouth, and you do it prayerfully. And in the same manner, he took the cup. And when he had supped, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So let's drink it, and you do it prayerfully. And from there, uh, let, us, let, us, let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful, Lord Jesus Christ, that you've led us into this Holy Communion, Heavenly Father. We have a God, we know that they had the Holy Communion in Egypt before they started the long journey all the way to the Promised Land that took a little more than 40 years, so Heavenly Father. And their clothes was right there. And they, they went on in the whole as you continued the cleansing, oh Java God, chastening and cleansing, cleaning up your church. Oh, Jehovah God, Heavenly Father, may you straighten us, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, that we, we may be found there, Lord, that when the saints go marching in, we may be in that number. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, so the, our next session will be on uh, testimonies. Um, so let us uh, have whoever, whoever is led with the testimony, uh, because our Lord Jesus Christ is waiting uh, for uh, to hear his children bragging about that his goodness and the many things that he's done for them uh, so you're welcome any anyone who is ready uh, you can come right on or you can raise your hand and uh, then you can give a testimony whoever is, whoever is ready just go right on yeah i can see one from eldoret kenya welcome thank you pastor peter um, yeah. My name is Ruth Mbugwe from Eldoret, Kenya. Uh, today I had a, this afternoon, I've just had a very encouraging incident. And um, I want to give God all the glory for that. I just, I had just logged in for the session, for the prayer session, and Mateo was uh, reading from the book of Ephesians. Then uh, my six-year-old daughter came running to where I was seated and uh, she told me i have a memory bus i have a memory bus so I, I looked at it as as interruption so i was trying to shush her and tell her please just go and you'll come back and tell me later but she insisted and she told me she mumbled uh, the verse the chapter and the book she just mumbled because i think she can't remember and then she just said call on to me and i will answer you so i just looked looked up on my phone uh, to look for the Bible verse, and that's Jeremiah 33, verse 3, which says, Call to me, and I will answer you, 
and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. It was an encouraging moment because uh, yesterday we had received some sad news. Uh, the younger sister to my, my mom, uh, my auntie, uh, decided to end her life after her battle with uh, depression. So when my daughter said this, for me, it was like the spirit of God telling me, come to me, ask for peace and comfort from me. Thank you. Yep, that is you. So, so your sister decided to end her life? The sister to my mom, uh, the younger sister. Oh, to my they, mom, oh, that is your, uh, your auntie. Oh, my. Yes. That also. And you didn't see it coming? Um, was... We had tried to encourage her for a long time. She was born again, you know, tried to take her for prayer sessions and, you know, um, so we, the person she's staying with said, she actually prayed in the night. She mm -hmm. prayed with her. She's the one who led the prayer. And when she went to bed, so when the person staying with her went to look, you know, found her, she had um, overdosed and taken oh. her life. Yeah. Okay. It's so sad to hear that. It's a the wrong way to go. We should not take our lives, but it happens a lot. Uh, it's so it's so sad, but I, I thank God for the encouraging one that you that you are able to get. Oh, that, that is that is all right, and we give glory and honor to the Almighty God. Those things should not have gone that way. Uh, so she didn't look like she may do that kind of thing. Nobody even had an idea that she she could take that that, that she could do that. No, the people who talked to her before, the night before, the day before, and the, during the day, and and at night she actually prayed, she gave thanks, and they went to bed. So uh, no one saw that coming. It was quite a big surprise. Yeah. I wish she had sought for help. So there are some who do who do seek for help, and then they get it. They get they get prayed for, and then that uh, that kind of demon that uh, whispers to somebody tells you take your own life. He's kind of taken out, he's defeated and, and cast out, and, and then things go around on well. But anyway, it is what it is, and it's so bad. I really sympathize with that, with that issue. Okay. Um, is there any other, any other, uh, any other testimony? Somebody else may have a testimony? For me, I thank God that today, at least, uh, uh, the, the, it's just yesterday when I had that headache that was so bad, and I came to learn that it's, you know, it was not just normal. Uh, it was a kind of a, a, an attack of some, a spiritual attack of some kind. But I thank God that I, after it was prayed for, and I called for help from the prophet, and she also, she also prayed for it, uh, it went away, and now I'm back to my usual self, and feel all right, and, Ah, I'm doing my job well, I'm doing the ministry work well, and uh, things are running well. And I give God all the glory and honor uh, to Him. And that's my testimony for today. Uh, do we have any other? Whoever you are, just raise your hand and we'll give you the chance. Yolanda, you have something over there? Oh, Bishop, you are here. Bishop Simon, tell us something, please, about the Lord Jesus Christ and His goodness. I don't know whether the Bishop is there. Um, any other, any other, any other person? Shiko. Any anything over there, Jeanette? I just want good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. 
I just want to thank God for um, giving me life. Like I had said last time, um, when when you we we do not really really see what it means to be alive, healthy, and able until you see somebody being so helpless, and you forget that it is not your right. All that, all that you desire, but it's the love of God that uh, he has you alive and he has a purpose for you. He keeps you alive. So I thank God for that because I have one patient who is um, slowly leaving this world, moving on. It's a, it's a long process, a sad process, and it has made me realize um, to God, thank God for, for the life and the health in, in the ability to walk and do everything, eat, you know, and breathe naturally without extra oxygen, manufactured oxygen. And I say, no, God, thank you for giving me life. Um, I don't deserve this, but you have the love for me. You've made me to be the way I am. Thank you. Praise God. So the patient is on is on hospice or something? Yeah, she did a turn, and now he's transitioning. Okay. Or oh, in in home care, do you, do you normally have hospitals uh, visiting them, or it, yeah. or it's just you doing doing everything? No, they do come. Okay. But um, I I do the most work, and I just do updating. So oh. um, yeah. Okay. She's okay. been on that for a, for for a couple of months, but now she's transitioning. So she's not able to eat anything. Mm -mm. She did a turn. Okay. A turn, yeah, because... a turn is when they, she's just sleeping. Oh and, my! You know, yeah. Everything. Okay. So, yeah, that tells you it's a it's a way of once they are unable to eat completely, it's just mm -hmm. a way of saying goodbye. Goodbye. It's time for for me to go to the other world. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's sad to watch this as they go down, as they go as they decline, as they go downhill. Uh, yeah, I I know how it feels when for as a patient and you've been with her every day. I mean, you've been there with her for, for a long time, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, uh, we thank God for it. Um, Amen. Any other testimony? Anybody else who wants to testify? Oscar, anything new? Thank you, Pastor Peter. Yeah. Uh, greetings, um, everyone. Um, I'd like to thank God that um there was something I was waiting for, some some letter, and I and I got it. And I thank God for it. And uh, Prophet Pauline has been you know, praying for abundance. And you know, things have started streaming in that I can only thank God for. Um, in fact, now you, know, you are spoiled for choices, which was not the case some time back. And I'm very grateful. So you have started seeing the results of the, of the prayers? Oh, yes. You've started seeing the Lord Jesus Christ answering almost every prayer that you you put to Him in an amazing way. Oh my, <laughs> that's so glad to hear that. Yeah, He does that as long as we pray in accordance to His will, in accordance to His word, and if He takes to see our, our motive, our objective, He sees we are positive. We meanwhile, we are not just selfish. Ah, then He answers. He goes ahead and answers it. No, not once, not twice. It goes on just on. Maybe it is just the tip of the iceberg. And you'll go right on. I'm so glad to hear. We give you all the glory and honor for that. Uh, do we have another testimony? Another one, please. Uh, yeah, looks like we don't have... Uh, we have one from Tulsa, Oklahoma there. Oh, Pamela. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Praise God. Amen. Um, 
My name is Pamela. I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I want to um, really thank God this morning. And yesterday, I was leading a, a group of uh, women. We, we do a women's discipleship class in, uh, in the church I attend here. And I was leading a group. And we were doing um, a study on the fruits of the spirit. And what what one thing that um, pointed out um, clearly to me, clearer to me yesterday, even I, though I was the one leading, God was telling me that the whole summary about the fruit of the spirit is maturity as we're growing. So every season of trial that we face is um, God um, um, helping us to grow in that area. If we um, see that um, we need patience, everything in that season that will come to us will be for us to mature in the area of patience and in the area of um, faith, in the area of love and all of that. And so I, I remembered something that um, at the point where I was asking God, I said, if truly you called me, why is my life like this? And at that moment, the scripture he gave me was James 1, verse 3 to 4, where he referred me. <laughs> he said, you count it all joy when you pass through um, trials and temptations. He said, it's for, your, it's for you to be mature. So he took me back to, at the time God gave me that scripture, I didn't link it to me. Um, the Holy Spirit walking um, through me for me to become matured in Christ. I just looked at it like, okay, maybe it was one of the, his um, ways to console me, you know, you know, comfort me in whatever I was going through and all of that. But yesterday it came out like, you know, so when I was telling the women that, look, this was an, the experience that I had and this was what God said to me. And they were like, oh, whoa, we didn't see it in that, um, in that light. But obedience is what God desires in us. That's the, that's the whole duty of we humans. And we believe that as we seek his face every day, he will help us to, you know, to live in that obedience. And I want to thank him that every step of the way, um, the 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 um, living the life to 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 please him um is not one that comes with ease but because of the holy spirit working his spirit working in us and through us for us to grow so that we'll be an example to the to the younger believers and i want to thank god this morning for that privilege that i'm not just um um always there saying oh and uh, this person come and do this for me come and do this for me and then god you know will always reveal to me that this is what you should do and it's not just knowing what to do but the grace that he releases for me to do what he said i should do is what i want to thank him this morning for and i want to um, praise god for everyone coming here to be refreshed and renewed every morning, just the way I'm here too. Thank you all. Yeah, that sounds good. That's a that's a good teaching that you actually gave them. Yeah, you have to be tried. You have to be yeah, and sometimes the tryings are not are not easy. Uh, yeah, you can see even what James says there. Uh, yeah. The, 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 the trying of your faith, worker, patience. See, yes. we have to be tried over and over and over. 
sometimes you will allow the devil to bring you something, some some little disease. Say, mm. and you wonder where is God? I mean, he allows, but he fasts, he checks it. You cannot be tried beyond your power to remain firm. He takes it and he knows that this trial you'll be able to surmount. You definitely will be able to win this one. He takes it up. And so you struggle it. As you're saying, if you're if you able to overcome it, because remember, he's coming for overcomers. He's not coming for undergoers or just people. Say, he that overcometh, he that grant to sit with me on my throne, as I overcame and sit and trace with my father in his throne. He that overcometh, will I grant to eat of the fruit of the tree that's in the midst of the garden of God. See, he, in the, all the, the church um, the church ages that are there in the, in the revelation, he only deals with overcomers. That's what he's looking for. But then, what then you'll be asked, what did you overcome? You overcame nothing? <laughs> they, may not be sweet. they may not be sweet. Huh? Yes. But, yeah, uh, and we can all overcome without his help. Yeah. We can all overcome without the help it's of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes we ask, we ask for, we talk of victory, victory, victory. <laughs> but then, when you ask for victory, he gives you the battle. That's it. Be because now, well, I mean, how are you going to have victory except you, you win some battle of some kind? See? It is, it is, I know it, people don't like that, that kind of preaching, they, 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 they don't like it, they want just to hear blessings, blessings, blessings the whole day, the whole night, but uh, he, yeah, he's a God of all, he, he does that, he, he allows some, even some disease, he'll allow it, and then you struggle with it, you pray. that's when you pray, that's when you fast and pray, see? <laughs> yeah, until you make it. So it, and then you emerge stronger than you are before. After that, he gives you something else to see whether you are ready for the journey. This journey of eternal life. See, you know, it's not going to be just a, a, I mean, a, a bed of roses. It's not a walk in the park. See, it's a, it's a toughie, and you have to toughen up. Right? Uh, it's good you told them about the fruit, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I wish you you mentioned that you fast and need the giver. You need a giver. Once you get the giver, then you will even be able to know to get the, all the all the points. See? But sometimes you most people want to climb the tree from the top instead of the bottom. They want the fruits only. They don't they don't care about the giver. They don't want him. Now that's uh, it's a little bit out of the way. Looks up no more, but uh, anyway, you've been taught by Brother Isa so much, so you, you, you're good. <laughs> You're good with that. Um, do we? Have, we may dwell on that for the rest of the night. Or do we, we we have to go. Uh, any other testimony? Any other? Bishop, you have something for us. Bishop Simon. I don't know whether he's still there. Well. Looks like uh, looks like we have exhausted almost everyone. So, uh, we with this now, I think we will go to uh, uh, prophet to uh, lead us to the next level. And I remember, like I say, we have always been saying, we go on our knees, we remove our shoes, remove our hearts, and we humble ourselves. We humble completely our hearts, our souls, our spirits, and we go with an expectant heart to receive something from God. We're not playing games. We have to receive something from God. And he knows it. He wants people who mean it. People who've made a clean decision. See, not people who are just playing around. They don't mean it. Those ones say, don't want to deal with those. Okay. So, and with this, we are going to go straight to the prophet of the Lord, prophet Pauline. Welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Thank you, Pastor Peter. Thank you, Brother Esa, for that <laughs> for that beautiful encouragement. Thank you, Brother Mateo, for encouraging us. Um, and most of all, we thank you all those who have given their testimony uh, for edifying us. 
remember um remember that um that when you are giving testimony you are edifying others you are edifying others you are actually edifying others because when you are edifying others it it it's actually bring victory go, to god our father so we thank god we really thank god for 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 what he does in you all of you because we you don't need to be uh to be a minister as i told you guys before to to preach the word of god remember what god has done for you hmm. it is it is what he has done for you and when he does it it is he alone who gives the glory to be given the glory remember we are told uh we are told to uh to have a relationship with god not a religion god actually don't like religions and i'm telling you the truth if you think i'm making this up um you can see it in his word in his word when he came to this planet earth to come in even you can check out from genesis to liberation you will find he does not like religion he does not like denominations he came to preach the kingdom the kingdom so that we can have kingdom mentality having kingdom mentality is having relationship mentality of our father as what asa was trying to say to you all today that you have to be sealed huh you have to be sealed and then also uh our brother mateo went on and said this like a, an engagement you have been engaged yet to uh to receive your bride to come so uh, your groom to come so um because you're the bride so and it's very important for people to understand uh the the word of god very clearly as we always encourage you all of you here that don't just say you are born again go a little bit further and besides just saying you're born again my brothers and sisters because when you are born again is the first step is an issue it's like being in a in a is being born again imagine i want you to understand this being born again is just like um it is like having a a, a, a baby a small baby a baby who is helpless who has been breastfed and needs mother 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 protection father's protection you know the whole family the whole village even there's a statement says that the a child is raised by a village the whole village protect that child until it becomes big and is able to protect another one so it's very important to know when you get born again when you uh, when you get born again seek and ask god ask god by asking him is not just asking is it says repent repent all your sins remember you have you've already repented you've already accepted god as your personal savior but he says for you to receive the holy spirit in you you have to continue with the repent is not oh, <laughs> for god to baptize you with the holy spirit it is not for you to 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 come here or to go to god and start saying i'm born again eh? i gave my life to you no for you to receive the baptism of the holy spirit no you need to come humbling humbling yourself and guess what you ask god forgive me repent that's what the bible says it says repent repent 
Whether you had given your life to Christ, you had confessed all your sins before and all that, repent, repent, repent. I don't know how I can say it, but it's repent. It's, there's no, don't say you, you, you are born again. I already repented a uh, hundred years ago. My dear, as long as you have this head of yours, this head, and you have these eyes of yours that sees, you have this mouth that speak words that are many. You have this whole body that you have in your body. As long as you have this body that you, you, you are a human being, ah, you're prone to sinning. You're prone to sinning. You're prone. You can sin with your thought. Even God himself, Jesus Christ said this, and I want you guys to listen. He said, even when you look, you just use your two eyes to look and look at your, uh, your, um, <laughs> look at your, uh, someone look at someone and last for them whether a male or a female whether you look at them and last for them that is a sin it is a sin there is there is no way around it but you know this is what god grace is very merciful he knows we are not able to 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 be to be something to be to be not to be human so that's why he says i'll pour all my spirit to you so when he has poured his spirit in you you are supposed to be feeding yourself every day with the word of God. It's just like having milk, the way uh, God said that when you are born, you are just brand new, you start drinking milk. Then later on, you can uh, start having uh, solid food. Uh, and then later on, you start having meat and bone and you start cracking bones. And that's why some of us here, you see, some of us here, they understand the word of God. They are more seasoned than the other. Why are they more seasoned? Because they have been walking with God for some time, but not just walking with God, hmm. being intimate with our Father. But others, they have just taken the uh, God for granted and they just say, oh, I got born again. I don't need to do much. Oh, Father, please, please. You, you, you have to do something, okay? Yes, the Bible says, and he says very well, it's not our righteousness, but God also requires us to obey him by worshiping him every day. Because when you worship him every day, he's able to, to, to help you to grow spiritually. And when things of this world become overwhelming in a way that you feel like you want to give up, you want to say, ah, I quit this world. That's when now, even as you are planted with the word of God, the spirit of God gives you comfort. He gives you that peace that you need. You, your flesh get to be decreased because the flesh is carnal. Carnality is enemy to God and it causes, uh, it causes you to stay away from God. And it, it actually poison. It poison the relationship between you and God. So that's why he says, renew your mind every day so that you can what you can be strengthened for the journey ahead. Every day is a journey. If you think you are not in a journey, my dear, I wish you are the best. But either way, kindly, every one of you, I encourage you today to stay planted with his word. I know life can be cruel sometimes, and that is the reality of it. And I know if I, I preach it differently by saying life can be cruel, uh, I'll be lying to all of you. But it, the Holy Spirit is in us to help us in that walk. He is ever present. He's closer than a brother. He's closer than a sister. He's closer than our, our father and our mother. He's the one who is responsible for us. So let's all know that.
that that uh, our father require us to have that intimate relationship besides that intimate relationship he require us he require us to to love him he require us to honor him he require us to give him all our trust because when you don't trust somebody was when when your child let's give an example when your child does not trust you that you're going to provide what you have promised to them it hurts you so it hurts god when when god says this he says he will prosper you he will fight your battle for you he will do everything it's all in his word it's all in his word and his word is ever true so my brothers my sisters be encouraged that when you have that spirit of god in you he's not just there to be just lingering in your in you he's there to lead you he's there to lead you in the in the places where you would like to end up so as we go boldly to the father right now let's go to our father in that mentality that that our father require us to come boldly to him with faith remember the bible says very clearly god's word says that he is pleased by our faith having faith is having trust when someone says i have faith in you that means they are saying i have trust in you let's trust in him i know sometimes it's not easy to trust but my brothers and sisters i know why you 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 lack trust you lack faith because you use your carnal mind you use your you use your your body you use your mind you use your eyes to see to believe instead of having faith to believe in him that he alone who has said that he will prosper you he will take you where you need to be so my brothers and sisters wherever you are whatever position of life you are in I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be encouraged. And that's why I tell you, all of you, please, 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 all of you, whoever you are, it is very important to, to also tell your, your brothers, your sisters, your nephew, your, your nieces, your, your aunties, your, your, your uncles, your, your friends, your enemies, everyone that you don't want to lose tell them about this the, this uh daily prayer so as they can you know they can be prayed for you know you have done your part try your best to bring them here or take them to another church whichever it is i don't care which church you take them but take them to a church that is a spirit filled church that is going that they're going to grow spiritually just take them somewhere that they are going to grow daily not just only sundays that they go to church on sunday and then monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday where are they going to run to where are they going to uh, uh, when calamity hits where are they going to run to bring them here until they see they, they, they see they find another place please my brothers and sisters when we encourage you and tell you every day bring another person tell another person you do not know by telling them you may be saving their life it is bad to hear that to hear someone has passed away or to hear someone has has uh, has has said their last prayer and when they, they they gathered because when someone has made their clear cut decision to kill themselves they will kill themselves they will definitely kill themselves that is no bargaining about it 
But when, you know, these people who 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 end up losing their life, end up killing, because they need renew of their mind, they need renew of their mind. The renew of your mind daily is very essential. It's like taking vitamins. It's like taking vitamins for your bone. So kindly, when we tell you to bring people, we are not telling you to bring people because I want to pray for everybody. My dear, I am not God. I am not Jesus. But I'm just saying we can prevent some calamities by bringing people to Christ. If, the, if, there's, if there's any other platform that you, you know that they, they do uh, worship God and they worship in trueness and they worship in the, uh, being led by the Spirit of God, Please take them there. If you don't feel like we we can we can help them, then it is better you take them to where you you know the spirit of God is there and is is there among those people. Because I'm telling you, we need to help our brothers and sisters and everybody else who is connected to us. Don't just sit there and say that oh I'm going to fellowship whether you come or you don't come. Try to insist. Try to insist each and every one of you. I believe even before you, uh, you you showed up, I I kept on sending you, uh, even up to today. You see me sending you, uh, the link to join. It's not that I don't know you have the link. You have the link, but I'm just reminding you. Some of you who I know that tell me to wake you up, I wake you up. So why am I doing that? Because I need you to be renewed for today. Tomorrow, I don't know about it because God told me tomorrow I leave it to him. Today is the day that God has given me the, the, the right to call upon all my brothers, all my sisters, everyone to come and, and worship God. Come and get renewed. So when we call you, when we tell you to go and call upon everybody, who, who needs to, to hear the word of God. We are not telling you to come and just fill up the seat here. We are not just telling you to come and fill up. We are not telling you to increase the, the volume of the people here. And to be honest, uh, you can ask most of the ministers here, uh, ministers here like Mateo, uh, Esa, uh, Pamela, uh, uh, Simon, everyone who is here, Peter, everyone that knows me. I, 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 this, this, what I do, I don't do it by my strength. If I did it by my strength, I'll be tired. I'll be like, no, I don't want to pray for people, but I'm not telling you to go and get people for me to pray for them because I, I want to feel good. No, my dear brothers and sisters, for me to do what I'm doing, it is because God has ordained and has, has pressed it upon me to do that and each and every one of you you have a, your own assignment do that by going and and save one so and another please don't just don't just say that oh i shared the, the link to my brother or my sister or whoever uh one time and one time only and that's it no, you normally see me, some of you, even Oscar, I, I, there's a time I, I, I saw you were not here, I called you. And some of you, I, I, I've sent you the messages. I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not making noise for you guys because of anything. I'm just telling you the reality and this is the reality if you don't like me to tell you the reality then then don't be uh, don't be delusioned by thinking that it is light to to just come here selfishly not telling another person to come and also get whatever it is that you're getting every day you're getting renewed every day every day god is sending you angels to minister to you so my brothers and sisters, I encourage you, all of you, try to bring somebody. It's not that I, 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 I can assure you, I, I, I do what I do for the glory of God. You do what you do for the glory of God. Bring your brothers, bring your sisters, bring whoever you want, your neighbors, to save their soul. Help them. Others cannot help themselves. They are, they, they, the, the spirit of the of the other is is talking to them in their mind, telling them to to get rid of their life, and now they are no more. 
So instead of sitting there with regret, what are we going to do tomorrow? What are we going to do with what we have now? As who are alive, remember, the, the people who are alive are the ones who worship God. God does, is not worshipped by the dead people. Is worshipped by who are alive. And not only just alive, who have been baptized by the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God awakens and wakens you up. So kindly, my brothers and sisters, it is it's not, uh, it's, I'm not saying this, I'm not saying this, just saying it. Please, we need to do better. And tomorrow is another day. So let's start today by inviting others who, whether, whether you see them smiling, especially those who you see them smiling every day. They are more dangerous than everyone else who is frowning. If you see someone smiling so much and, and always thinks every, every time you call them, every time it's like they're always happy, please, that those are they just things that, that you need to encourage them and tell them, hey, my brothers, my sisters, let, let me show you where you can continue smiling. Come, let's join this prayer every day. So don't just take them to the prayer uh, only on Sundays and only uh, on that worship day that you go please please the devil is is <laughs> he's seeking who to devour he's rolling lion he's going far, back and forth back and forth and checking out who can i torment today so <laughs> let's wake up let's pray dear heavenly father we come before you we thank you jesus for what you have done for us today oh dear father we bless you jesus for what you are doing in our lives oh dear father we thank you father for the word of wisdom that you have given us today that we need to be brothers and sisters keep our father that we need to encourage others we need to bring others together oh dear father for your glory father thank you jesus father for it does not profit you father when you lose when you lose a worship father oh father my god because the devil as you have said he's there seeking who to devour my god oh dear father my god jesus help us oh dear father so that we can be able to help our brothers and sisters help us father my god Father, help us. Help us. Help us because, Father, we don't know. We don't know how, how to do things sometimes. Help us. And that's why we come only asking you to also forgive us for all the wrongs that we have done, for all the things that we have done that we could have done better. Father, please forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us. Cleanse us, Father. Because the invitation is for everybody. The invitation is for everybody, Father. It's for everybody. It's not for some. It's not for the for the rich. It's not for the for the poor. It's for everyone. It's not for the well, and it's not for the for, for, for the sick, Father. It's for everyone. So, Father, we ask you to forgive us. Forgive us all our sins, which we have done knowingly and knowingly. Please, Papa, forgive us. To Samehe, Baba. To Oshu, Nadami, Ako, Yesu, Baba. To Takase, Nadami, Ako, Yesu, Baba. To Samehe, Baba. Tafadari, Mungu, Baba. To Samehe. Kwa mana we ndiyo buwana wa mabuwana, Baba. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe, Baba. Kwa kuomba, tu Oshu, Nadami, Ako, Yesu, Baba. Kwa mana umesema, tu kuja, zile vile tu kudukinate. Vile tu, tu uko, Baba. Na Baba tumekuja bereni mwako baba. Tuwaomba utusamehe hey, baba. Tuwaosha baba. Kwa mafikira zetu baba. Kwa um, whatever we have spoken oh dear father. Kwa, ma, kwa yale yote baba tumetenda tabi. By action, by thinking, by our feelings oh dear father. We ask you mungu baba tusamehe. Tusamehe baba tusamehe. Mungu baba. 
ore ke burusikar bada kwa mana uwa betika revo so bodi kan he poshotik re bada please we are children we are children we are just your children sometimes we need encouragement here and there we ask you to please forgive us forgive us father forgive us forgive us jesus because only you jesus can do that cleanse us with the blood of jesus christ wash us oh dear father with the blood of jesus christ father because only the blood of jesus christ is of value to you and it's the only one that is a smelling sweet aroma that causes you to it causes you to act it causes you to to look at us it's not our doing it's not our action it's not our righteousness but it's yours father so father my god we want to thank you for having mercy on us thank you for cleansing us thank you father for covering us with the blood of jesus christ thank you jesus thank you father thank you for being with us even from the beginning of this meeting even now and even after we leave father that you're gonna be with us you're gonna be with our families you're gonna be with all those who are connected to us father so thank you jesus even for those who gave testimonies oh dear father my God, oh dear Father, each and every one of them, they gave testimony. Others they came to ask uh, to ask for you to strengthen them. Each and every one of them, Father, encourage them, strengthen them, Father. Each and every one of them who came to give testimony, Father, they came to brag on you. They came to edify and uh, and be used by you, Almighty God, by the Spirit that binds in them that is greater than the one who is in the world father thank you jesus for giving them the word to come and, ed and edify us if you give your testimony kindly lift up your hand please on the screen kindly lift up your hand on the screen if you gave testimony kindly lift up your hand on the screen after you lift up your hand on the screen kindly put press your light hand on on your on your chest your light hand on your chest for the god almighty is the one who rewards you he rewards you because he knows that that you gave testimony to come and edify someone to come and and encourage others because you are here to brag on god you came to brag on jesus you came to brag on him at all and only him only him and he's the one who you bragged on and so as he he alone he's the one who rewards you because he says that when when he woke you up today he gave you a breath of life there's so many people who wanted to see this day but they were not able to they were not able to because they are normal and those who cannot worship they cannot worship god no more anymore but you who is here alive you are here to to worship god you're here to thank him and you came back to say father thank you for the oxygen that that that, that he has given you not only the oxygen he has given you miracles and wonders not only miracles and wonders he has given you restoration he has given you healing he has given you deliverance he has given you everything because he died for you he died for you and when you came when you needed help he intervened and he blessed you and so you are here to give glory and honor to god and so as we keep about so valuable father as i bring all your father those who have lifted their hand that they gave their testimony i believe pamela kindly lift up your hand uh she called lift up your hand i believe those ones also gave their testimony if you give your testimony kindly lift up your hand so father i bring 
Rud o dia fada. I bring Rud o de kepu roko soko ribatika chete le kika popo to shepu ruva rakashe. Iva reboto suku ribata rekisi. Ika boto soko ribata rekisi kibo roko shita rakashe. Rud, move your hands from your chest and press it. Rud only, Rud only. Press it on your uh, uh, light hip, light hip. Erekita raka seku ruku shuba revoto su veputu. Eka raboto tu shubareke. Iva revoto so korubashitele. Ika voputu su kuribata rekesi. Iva reboshitele kenji sadoso. God, thank you, Jesus, for making her whole. Thank you, Jesus, for making her one with you. Thank you, Almighty God, for rewarding her in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I bring Oscar e kita boto rusu kuribadakovo. For he come Greek attack resi kivo rushu. With joyful heart on your father. Isakatere kisi kivo rushu tu rakaseke boruba tisi. Ika revotoru kusu kuribadarekisi. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Orovo patareke si kavoroko. In Jesus' name. Liwadi mo dear father. In Jesus' name. Father, I bring on dear father Peter. Ere kita rakaseke. Boto ruko sukuri batareke si kavo potosi iva reboto rikita rakasi kete rikisa kavo poto rubashiti in Jesus name in Jesus name thank you Father thank you Jesus Father I bring Shiko Janet nta raboto soko ribata kati for rusi kimo turechi e kavu turukusu press your hands on top of your stomach ah. Shiko Janet, Erekita Rakase ke botoro kosu bareki varabose ke ikavoto risha tareke ikavopo to rokoso botichi se ke vote botika la shetere in Jesus name. Thank you, Father, for making all those who have given testimony. Oh, and thank you for rewarding them. For you are the one who reward them, Father. My God, I bring all your children who are gathered here in your name, oh dear Father. I bring Asa. I bring Joanne. I bring Lucy Jerry. I bring Brother Mateo. I bring Oscar. I bring Pamela, Pastor Peter, Ruth, Apostle Salim, Sarah, Shiko, Simon, Susan, uh, Jansson, Yolanda. All of these are your children, Father. They are all gathered here, not by that th they came here because of any of us, but they came here because of you, Jesus. Father, my God, restore them. Let that each and every person who have mentioned their name here, that is your other, Yanson, uh, Susan, Simon, Shiko, Sarah, Salim, uh, Ruth, Peter. Pamela, Oscar, Mateo, Lucy, Joanne, Esa, all of them, Father. My God, my God, my God. The God that we serve, our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, renew them and restore them. And Father, let their life never be the same again. Father, my God, you are the one who said we come to you. Boldly as we are. We are here, Father, on the throne of mercy. We are here on the throne of grace. Father, my God. We come boldly right now, dear Father. Because, Father, there is no other one who we can go to. We know, Father, that you are the one who created us. You are the other of our lives, Father. You are the one who created us. And you creating us, Father. You gave us the bread of life. You gave us, oh dear Father, the heartbeat, oh dear Father. You gave us, oh dear father, the mobility to dance for you, to sing for you, father. To diki na motor roko sukuribate. Father, we are here, father, thanking you, Jesus, because there's no other one who we can go to. Because, Father, you say that even the, the, your children, they will follow your, uh, your voice. They will not follow another. And so, Father, my God, we are here to follow you, Jesus. We are here to follow you, mighty God. We are not here to brag on anybody else. We are not here to brag on ourselves. We are not here to, to brag on anything that we can do or we cannot do. Father, we are here to worship you. We are here to worship you in one accord, oh dear Father. Father, we are here to praise you, Father. We are here to thank you, Father, for the things that you have already done, Father. We are here to thank you, Father, for the things which you are already doing, oh dear Father. We are here to thank you, Father, for the things that you are about to do for us, oh dear Father. Thank you, Jesus. We know, Father, it's only you, Jesus, oh dear Father. Because, Father, oh dear Father, you say that, oh dear Father, that the 
battle is not ours, it's yours, Father. So each and every one of us, oh dear Father, who is here, Father, connected in your name. Father, each and every one of them. Father, they are here to worship you. They are here to thank you, Father. Father, I commit all of them to you, Almighty God. So as their life will never be the same again, as they go and grab their brothers, they go and grab their sisters, they go and grab their aunties, they go and grab their nephews, their, their, their their uncles, their, their mothers, their fathers, their, their friends, their enemies, whoever they want, oh dear father, they bring them here. Father, as they go and spread the word of God, encouraging others and bring them, oh dear father, to fellowship together. My God, oh dear father, may you give them the boldness to encourage others to be who you created to be who you created them to be father my god you are the mighty god of your father you require our worship you require our worship you father my god if we are dead father i know father none of us will worship you but father we are here father we are alive the saints we are saints because father you said the saints worship you the saints sing go marching in the saints of your father they are they are all these who are alive who are here dedicating their day, their part of their day to come and worship you, Father. My God, each and every one of them. Father, my God, may you release them, oh dear Father. Give them, oh dear Father, what they came for, Father. Give them more than what they came for, Father. Because it's you, Jesus, who give. It's you, Jesus. It's your Father needs hearing. Others, Father, needs deliverance others oh dear father needs uh miracles and wonders each and every one of them even the ones who are connected here father and the ones who are gonna watch this prayer later out oh your father my god they need healing they need deliverance they need miracles and wonders whichever it is they need oh dear father my god grant them oh dear father in Jesus name in Jesus name father I bring all the ministers all over the world whether we know them whether we don't know them father we ask you to please strengthen them oh dear father encourage them so as they can be that light that you call them to be father my God strengthen them oh dear father give them the word that you want them to speak through your people father my God encourage them father protect Protect them, oh dear father, and protect, oh dear father, their family, oh dear father, everyone that is connected to them, oh dear father, be it be their wives, be it be their husband, be it be their children, be it be their friends, oh dear father, wherever it is, father, that is connected to them, my God, I bring forth all those who are your ministers, oh dear father, my God, even in their ministry, let their ministry, oh dear father, to continue reaching out to all the people, not for their glory, not for their own but for your glory and honor oh dear father my god oh dear father increase their their ministry expand their ministry to go and preach the word of god your word not their word but your word jesus father my god oh the katie father i bring all your children who are gathered here father in your name oh dear father all those who are gathered here jesus you know them oh dear father each and every one of them that is esa that is emmanuel that is uh hilda that is joanne that is lucy that is mateo that is oscar that is pamela that is peter that is ruth that is uh, salim that is sarah that is shiko that is simon that is susan that is jansen that is yorada father each and every one of them father he caraboto roco soco ribata reke, sete. He sacaboto roco subareke de hitsike. He caraboto rucu subarekete. He barebo tu sucu ribacharese. He caboto roco subarekiti risi. He caboto roco sumaracachete. Parekete. Father, I bring out your father, your rada. Father, I bring your rada, your rada, your rada. He rekese kibo roco to rucusu. Father, you know your rada, oh, your father. He caboto. Ruku suku ribata rekesi. I kaboto roko wosu kore. He kavama neke seke voroko. For God has given you a power. The power, the power, the power, the power. This oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm. For God has given you a scepter. 
Accept for oh, Ricky for the power for the work that God has called you to do, your other to do and go and preach the word of God. Go and do what God has called you to do, not what a man or a woman or any other spirit is calling uh, or it, uh, making you to do things which are not of God. But go and do what God told you for whatever He told you initially, He has not changed His mind. Your rather, whatever it is that God told you initially, in the beginning, he gave you a word. In the beginning, he told you that I have chosen you, I have appointed you, I have called you my own to go and preach the word. So you need to go and do so because it's not by your strength, it's not by your power, but it's by the power of Almighty God. Almighty God that dwells in you, the greater is he that lives in you than the one who is in the world. So my dear sister Yoranda, continue, take a pound and take it also for you are not alone for you are not alone god is in you the rebotu rukus ni karakase kibori iba rebotara kase andare si kiboro for god has given you the power you have a self in your hand and go and do what God has called you to do for his glory for his glory for his glory you are victorious in every aspect for the ones whom you began with the ones whom you began with, you, they will look at you and they will say, how did you get there? How did you get up there? But you tell them, it is God who got me up there. It is not my strength. It's not my ability. I myself, I don't know how, but it's Jesus who with his mercy and grace have caused me to get where I am. And he's getting me to where he needs me to be. And it's for his glory. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, my God, we thank you, Father, for your other side. Thank you, Jesus. Again, Father, I bring, oh dear Father, my God, oh dear Father, Simon, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. Bishop Simon, Bishop Simon, kindly press your hands on top of your chest right now. Press your hands on top of your chest right now. E kiboto koruba tareke sika boto shita. Hase kevo ruku dakase. E karaboto soko riba taraka se kibori shitila. Andare terevo roko soko riba taraka se kiborosi. E kavo poto roko to roki garaboto so. E karaka tevo roko sumana karebosi. E kopoto roko karaka vo vatikisi. Father, I bring all your father, Bishop Simon and his wife and his children and his ministry of your father my god of your father he kabotoro koso korika tareke seke morukushi he boruba tareke si kabotoro kuso bareke shata i kaboto sukuri batare e kaboto sukuri batara kasakabu ukareboto sukuri batare ke seke ukaraboto sukuri bataka shitila kase i kaboto sukuri batare ke se Bishop Simon, listen and listen very carefully. For God, when he called you and he appointed you, he, he, he tells you to go and preach the word of God. But you need to understand this and understand it very clearly. When you are sent by God, you are sent to God to a place where it is dark, where there is no light, because you are the light. You are the light. So don't, 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 don't expect anything different. Okay. Don't expect anything different because I see you going to these dark, dark areas that, that God is, is calling you to go and bring the light because you are the light of God. You, you, Bishop Simon, you, hey. <laughs> but don't let that darkness to consume your light. Don't let that darkness to consume your light. Be the one to consume the darkness. Mm -hmm. 
by letting the light shine Amen. by letting the light shine and it consume every darkness and everywhere you go god is going to go with you and making way where there seems to be no way and where there is fear where there is calamity where there is war whatever remember god is saying very well with his word that he has not given you the spirit of anxiety spirit of fear spirit of all those that are negative but god has given you a positive spirit that is the spirit of a sound mind a spirit of of love and the spirit of power to come with your light and consume all the darkness around you because you have the power Thank you, it is not by your strength my brother it is not by your might my brother it is by the spirit of god that dwells in you that he is greater than the one who is in the world so you where god is planting you where he's sending you no it's not gonna be plenty it's not gonna be beautiful but you you lyric in araka arise in jesus name arise in jesus name arise in jesus name and the to rukusu merekes kimo roko for god has called you for the different he has not called you to be the same as the another or another or another no he called you to be different father we bring bishop simon wife and the for you are the one who said that the one who fights a good wife oh father Find a good thing, oh dear father. You brought, oh dear father, you brought Bishop Simon with his wife, oh dear father, to do the work together, oh dear father, to weed souls together, oh dear father, not in separate, but in, in unity, because father, you you are the one who says, Father, that we are your children, and you say, Father, we are your children, Father. So when you say that you brought our spouse to us you have brought them to to <clears throat> you have brought a helper to bishop simon to do what you have called him to do for your glory father even the children oh dear father Father, I commit all reketi voroshete reke voroshete. Cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. Give them wisdom, knowledge, oh dear Father, everything that they need, oh dear Father. Oh Father, my God, because they know, Father, that, that their biological father, you're the one who called. You're the one who called their biological father. But Father, they don't forget that you are the heavenly father, the perfect God, the perfect father, my God, that is there to help them also, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, I bring all the ministers, all the ministers that are connected right now with Bishop Simon. Father, my God, oh dear Father, all those who are connected to Bishop Simon, Give them the word of wisdom. O rakanda reke seke borushu tiki. E karavotu sumanakade. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our back to you, Almighty God. We give glory and our back to you, Almighty God, Father. Father, we bring Shiko Janet. We bring Shiko Janet and Keith. Shiko Janet and Keith. Shiko Janet and Keith. Arakamo toro kobo tu suri katari. E kavoto soko riba tarekese. E varevo to soko butu rushu vare. E kavopo tusi. E kavopo chichilaka se. Keke reboto. Tunguru sumba. E kavopo to rika boso koriba tare. E kavopo raka tere kisi. Kimo roko subareke. Hadare se ke kinga raboto su. E kavoto shimare. E kamoteke. E kagaraka mete. Likane. Papa. 
Ikinda na boto, sembo ruku saka reti. Ivarebu tusukuri kapika desi. Ikabutu ruku semana. Isi vusu barekita bobotoshu. Isi kemo roko tobeti laka. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Father, we bring Mateo. Mateo, dear father, brother Mateo. Tikirikata reke se kika raboto su. Ikaboto soko ribata reke si kibo roche. Ikabobo tusukura kate. Press your hands on top of your head, Mateo. Erekita rakase kevo rutushi. Atareki si voroko so ribate. For God is the one who called you, Mateo. He's the one who anointed you. Erekita rakase kevo ruvu rusha teregese. Ikabobo to roko didiki si kibo rusha teleki. Hamboroko su barekete voroko diboshi. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, bless his ministry. Bless all your father. Everyone that is connected to Mateo. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I bring all your father, brother Esa. Brother Esa, ere kete boroko so kori batareke vubate, eka bobo tukurushiba, hadareke tika voto, kuna raka saka dere, ikiburu kusu kori batare, eka boroko so kori katanta kini ki, handareke rivu ruku su kuri, handareke devu ruku. Father, brother Esa's wife, oh dear father, brother Esa's uh children oh dear father and brother Esa ministry oh dear father i present all this to you oh dear father for divine connection divine divine financial breakthrough breakthroughs in jesus name breakthroughs in jesus name breakthroughs in jesus name Handarebo roko so ribagosu, ibarebo toso kori katare, e kabomo nunga sangan zingare, ni kaboto sukumiti, hatareke si kaboto riga zaga sanga dazi, i kabon roko so kori katako, handareki si kimoroshe, ni kabobo to sukurabate, i karebo to kurusi, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. O Rakaboto, Ribata Reke Seke, Boroko Shita Rakase, Ereboto Roko Sobo, Ribadakate Resi, Ikaboto Ruku Suku Ribatare, Esakandi, Isiki Borobashi. Father, I bring O dear Father. Pastor Peter, O dear Father, Erekita Raka Seke, Boroso, Koribata. Andareke, andiri si kivoroso. Pastor Peter's wife, Pastor Peter's children, and Pastor Peter ministry of your father. Erekita rakate voroko suku ribatare. Andare votoso koribate vosi. E kaboto roko sobatikisi. E kuruboto roko sebatare ki. Father, give him connection. Give him divine connection. Divine connection, oh dear father. My God, oh dear father, you love to hear more and more and more of you, father. So, father, reveal more and more and more to, to him, oh dear father, because that's what he longs for, father. He karabotoro koti kisi. Hadareke redi kisi kivo roga rabozi. He kaboro koso kori katereki. Handarebo roko so kori batarakazare. Handarakaseke bo roko ram. He karaboto rusu kori batare. He kaboto ruse ba. Handarebo tsu kori sa. Restoration in Jesus name. Restoration in Jesus name. Restoration in Jesus name. Father, you are the war of Oto Sukuribate. Iba reboto rokosu. O bareke bo rokoso bo dikili. In Jesus name. Father, we give glory and honor back to you, Jesus. We give glory and honor back to your spirit. We give glory and honor back to you, my God. I kere kisi ki bo rokot ila. I kamono seka. Ndile kise ke bo rushu bareka dare. E ke bo rokosi kanakade. In Jesus name. In Jesus' name, Father, we bring all your father, Sarah. We bring Sarah. Sarah, kindly press your hands on the back of your head. Press your hands 
at the back of your head at the back of your head sera erekete voto korukushita rakaete ikivuru kusubareke ekaravo toro kosoborikata ekivuru bushita rakase evoruba takasiti ekaravo toso korikata rikita kade ekavuba tele kikaravo tosobori ivare rekete rekisi kiboroko vobati ekaravo toro kosoborika varebo sukuri batare esa kama dareti ikavoto roko soko ribatarese ke handarete kina bolo konsolo onzi kina bo haleluya ikivoro ko subarekete voto rikishi in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name father we give glory and all back to you jesus we give glory and all back to your spirit we give glory and all back to your mari kanere kita voto soko ribatavo hodre ke se ke voto ruku shandari in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name thank you father thank you jesus we give glory and all back to you jesus we give glory and all back to you holy spirit we give glory and all back to you my god father we bring all your father lud lud bogwa father we bring lud bogwa lud bogwa Ekerebo tovu borukuse barabo sivo badara pati de kuntu soko betela bumana ekandare ke tivo rokome eta kadere ke boto seke na etiki mo aderebo to soko rite eka boboto rokose mote eka bobo rokote boroko sekite evo ruba tareke seke ra kandele eva rebo to rokoso mareke te bumaraka father i bring oh dear father ruth bogwa's uh children erekita rakase kemo rukutuba rakate kendi lakase he kaboto rukunda katele kisa Ikavopo to seborubate, evoroko soborikatare. Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my God. Ikaraboto sokoribatare votoso marakadere keboru. Father, I bring on your father, Rud, Rud, on your father, the, the family that is connected to her. everyone that is connected to Ruth, father by by brad and by friendship by brad or dear father and by friendship oh dear lord jesus christ i present all this i present all of them to you oh dear father Have mercy, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy. Have mercy, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy, O oh Jesus. Because, Father, you're the one, O oh dear Father. Who knows? Who knows, my sister Ruth? Oh, Father. Strengthen her, O oh dear Father. Renew her spirit, O oh dear Father. Renew her, O oh dear Father. Renew her strength, O oh dear Father. My God, help our oh dear Father to continue pressing on for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ. Erekivo rosho borekete for sukuri kete for horri kisi keboro, so as she can be that what you called her to be. Father, my God, oh rekete boroko seka mi botu vare boso kuri kashade. Avoroko soko de kisi kiboroko shete. E karavo to soko ribata. Hanzi kibo rubata rekese. Father, I reke de boroko soko ribata de. I speak hearing, O oh dear Father. I speak deliverance in Jesus' name. I speak miracles and wonders, O oh dear Father. Divine hearing. Divine, O oh dear Father, deliverance. Divine miracles and wonders father i speak divine healing divine deliverance divine miracles and wonders father my god oh dear father you're the one who gives all this father Kindly touch um Ruth, 
look at um i don't know if you can see me but uh right on the side on this left side uh near the the um like the hip where the joint of your hip is uh right there uh on the on that side literally just put your right hand there press your right hand on that area as you see me uh press as you see my see my hand where it is is on the left side please Erekita rakate voru kushita rakase ke voru badare he kaboto sokuribate se e kabopo tu sukuribata rakashe tilas iva reboto sokurika chele kinga vo morne iva reboto sokuribata se ke voru shitara he kabopo toru ko sokuribata vo handare ke se kaboru shena rakase iva reboto ko sokuribata vo boshi handare ki kirisi iva reboto sukuribata rekisi inga vo boroso konduru sumare in jesus name 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 father my god move your hands uh ruth kindly move your hands on your ears as you see me demonstrate if you see me my ears are covered like so please kindly cover your father open her ears to hear you Open a kita rakatere kese kibo ruku shubareke. Comfort how dear father. Ikasaka reke tila kate lukoso. Go ruan senke mori. Iva rebo to rokoso koriva tareke. Handare kibo roko subare. Kingara se moroko. I speak hearing in Jesus' name. I speak here again. Dabodoko to rokoso. The river has in Jesus' name. Oh, rabobo to subarakabe. Mila cosa nuandas in Jesus' name. Handare go roso kori. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Erakavo Rokosu Rikatareke Seki Borushitari Ikarevotu. Lud, move your hands onto your chest as you see me demonstrate. As you see me demonstrate, Lud, Lud, kindly press your hands as you see me demonstrate on my uh, on your own chest. Erekita rakase ke boruku suva rebotori. E kaboto roko soko ribataresi. Iva reboto ruku suva rebo. Father, my God, oh dear Father, heal this soul, heal her, oh dear Father. Erekete boruko se ke riboto. Her spirit, oh dear Father, strengthen it, oh dear Father, for the journey ahead, oh dear Father. Erekita roko soko ribatarekesi. Tareke se ke voroso ko bitarevo botush. O socorro ko vorebotu. Hendare se kinga vobotorro ko vi. Hendare se kimo rose. Iva rebotorro ku subare. Iritiga rabotorro rose. No, you're not a mystic. You're on a mystic route. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not a mystic. You are a blessed child of God. Who God loves so much. Ereketi vorroko su ku. Ribareti isakavo and love your family. Erakanda rese kivoroshi ikaboto rukusu. He loves your family. He loves you and the family. Ikaboto rukusu. Anga roko su marakate borose kivoroshi. Ikaboto rukusu me erekina in Jesus name. In Jesus' name, Father, we give glory and all back to you, Jesus. We give glory and all back to your spirit. We give glory and all back to your mighty God, Father, my God, oh dear Father. We bring oh dear Father, Pamela, Pamela, Erekete Boto Soko Ribata Reke Seki Voroshe Boto Rokosi, Ikaboto Rubo Su Vebata, Iva Reboto Soko Rikatabo, Handare Seke Voroko Si Barete, Ikaboto Roko Su Baraketi. Isi kibo rokosu. Lift up your hands, uh, Pamela. Erekete votu rukusu barekete. Hadareke si kibo rokosu achare. Ereke si vorosho voto rika dare. Ese kibo rushi dilakasa. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I bring all your father. Preston. Preston, press your hand. Press, uh, Preston, press your hand on your left side of your chest. 
left side of your chest. Erekete botu rukusu kuribatare. Hadareke seke botu kusobo ti lakase. Handarevo roko sobo rikate. Kwa uiwarete kuinja. Hese kivo roso kudiki. Heba rakata reki. Singa bobo toro kosi. Hina lakaseke bo roko soko ribata reke se. Handare de kesi ki rebona re. Iba rebo roko soko rikata rakaseke mo rebona ane. Hika rabotu su. Oma reka de boto roko suma reke diba re. Handare diri kisi kimo. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Ikaboto roko soko riba tabobo tile kese kebo rubashi. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we give glory and all back to you, Jesus. We give glory and all back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and all back to you, Mary God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Father, we bring Oscar. Father, we bring Oscar. Erekita voto soko ruba tareke seke borusheti. Handare de re 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 voto soko ruba tavo. Heka voto roko soko ruba tareke si. Ha boroko soko ruba taraka seke. Oscar, lift up your hand wherever you are, Oscar. Ereke voto ora sakati. Heka voto si karavoto si botila. From the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. From the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. From the deke de bozi e rakada botaga. Hande vo reke si ili lakandi desi. Iva re boto sokori. Press your hands on top of your ears. Oscar, press your hands on top of your ears. Eke de kida rakate vurroko. Ika rakati la kese. Nka boto suku rubata re kese. Eva reboto ruku sunga rebo. Nka bobo tu suba re kese. Ika bobo tuku rubata re kese ke. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Uh, move your hands to your uh, Oscar. Move your hands to your 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 light side of your lower back. The right side of your lower back. The right side of your lower back. Your lower back. Ereketi vorokoso kori batare kesi. Ivurukusu all the way to the all the way to the back. All the way to the back. Erekita rakase ke. Eva reboto so kori batare kusu. Eka boto so kori batare kesi. Ika reboto. Eka reboto so kori batakasi. Iva reboto so kori batare kesi. Ika boroko monosi. Move your hands to your left. Your right side of your hip your light side of your hip the light side of your hip arakate voroko so kurikashi e karakate voroko su kurubashite e karabo toso koribatareke i kaboto roko so borikatare ese kemo roko toru kushita in jesus name in jesus name father we give glory and all back to you jesus we give glory and all back to you holy spirit we give glory and all back to you my god thank you jesus thank you father or roko to rusa kareke tika rakasi tawara mienendo yake baba tawara maisha yake baba tawara kalia yake baba tawara kila kitu chake bobo reke tere kese kikuru hee sakabo roko so mungu baba mzungu kina maraika wako wa moto maraika wako maraika wako wa mwangaza baba mwangaza 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 reke sikivo roko so kuribate morevo toko su kuriba makavoto kurika vokava hii mwagia father protect him and shield him ikavoto so kuribata vovosiki in jesus name in jesus name in Jesus' name. Father, my God, oh dear Father, I bring all your children, oh dear Father. I bring all your children who are gathered here in the name of Jesus Christ. That is uh, Brother Esa, oh dear Father, Hilda, oh dear Father, Joanne, Lucy, Lydia, Mateo, Oscar, Pamela, Peter, Ruth, Salim, Sarah, Shiko, Simon, Susan, Youngson, Yorada, if I have not prayed for you individually, kindly lift up your hand on the screen, please. So as we can, uh, we are now trying to conclude the prayer. If I have not prayed for you individually, thank you, Jansen. Susan, kindly lift up your hand. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Lydia. Joanne Zimunya, kindly lift up your hand. 
Uh, Hilda, Kuyo, Hilda, kindly lift up your hand. We are waiting for you, Hilda, to lift up your hand so that we can pray for those who we have not prayed for individually. Lucy, we have not prayed for you. Lucy Jelly, we have not prayed for you individually. Kindly lift, uh, um, kindly lift up your hands, the ones who have uh, on the screen, on the screen. I, I'm sorry if I did not make it clear. It's on the screen as you see the others. Uh, please. He, Hilda, Hilda, lift up the your hand on the screen. Um, if you know I've not prayed for you individually, kindly do so because of time. Uh, on the screen, on the screen, and on on the Kiti Boroko Soko Ribatariki, Sika Raboto Soko Ritariki, the Kidesi de Boto Rushi. Uh, on the screen, please. If uh, there is uh, an area, thank you, Hilda. Thank you so much. That's what we were waiting for you to do. Thank you so much. Arekiti risi ki voroshete le ki vorobotoro kosu vareke vorose vare. Father, we bring oh dear Father, Yanson, oh dear Father, Susan, Lydia, Joanne, Lucy. Heal thou, dear Father. My God, each and every one of them. You know them by name, oh dear Father. You know them beyond the names, oh dear Father. You know each and every one of them. You're the one who, ha, Papa, you, 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 you created them. You say these are your children. And all of them, they have passed in their in their daily life whatever connection they are others are in kenya others are in U uganda others are in in in, in scotland others are in america others are all over in switzerland others are all over father everywhere that they are connected father father distant is not a barrier to you father distant is not a barrier because that's what you have mentioned to me that you will you will answer all the prayers that we we always commit to you oh dear father in this uh platform of faith father because distance is not a barrier because father all you require that's what you told me that is for me to speak the words that you want me to speak father and for you to perform because the performing is you jesus and you are the one father who is going to perform father for Yanson, oh dear father. You're the one who is going to perform for Susan, oh dear father. You're the one who is going to perform for Lydia, oh dear father. You're the one who is going to perform for Joanne, oh dear father. You're the one who is going to perform for Lucy, oh dear father. You're the one who is going to perform for Hilda, oh dear father. You're the one who is going to perform for Salim, oh dear father. Each and every one of them, Father, for... Yanson, oh dear father, for Yanson, or Reketi Burukur. Yanson, press your hands on uh, on this light uh, light side of your head, light side of your head, right here, as you see me demonstrate. Kindly press your light hand there. Rekita rakase kebo ruku suku ribatari. Isaka boroso vorishi for ribatara kese kima rakate se kimo roko soko dikese. Iba rebo toro ko sukuribata. E karabo toro ko sukuima nakisi. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I bring Susan. Susan, e kereki itarakas. Susan, press your hands on top of your belly right now. Itareke si kibo rojo. Susan, e reki itarakas e kibo rukushu. Itareke se kemo rukushu. And when I pray for you, don't, don't, don't remove yourself. I really turn back that hand. You removed, um, Yanson. Don't, don't. Don't move yet. I'm the one to remove you. Don't remove yourself. Yeah, uh, Susan. Erekita raka seke boru suku ribateshi. Isaka boru kushuba rekete boru. Usuku ribata rekisi. Ivareke boru kuseke ni. Esaka boto soko ribata re. Ivare boto suku ribata re. Isiki boru suku ribashiti. Even in your children. Hareke de boru kusuku ribata re. Kese ki boru soma rekere inamoto soko rikava. Eka boto suku ribate. Move your hands to your chest. 
Raina, Nkarabo to su kuribatare kesi ki, isakabo to roso kuribate, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Father, we bring O dear Father, Lydia, O dear Father, Erekita rakase ki moruku su kuribata, Evuruku sebo rakashete leki, Evaraka te moroko so kuribata rebo, Usu kuribata reke, shete leka motoroko, Iba reke se, lift up your hands, Lydia, on the air as you see me demonstrate. You see my hands on the air. Kindly do so. Erekita rakase kebo tu ruku si baribata. Adareke si kibo ruku shubarekete. Isakabo to ruko subeti. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Erevutu ruku sakadere kese kimo rokosu. Press your hands on top of your head as you see me demonstrate. Arakate voto soku rubata rekese kibo ruku shibari. E karaboto roko soku ribatisi. Voto ruko so manaka e karivo toso in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name thank you Father thank you Jesus Father we bring Joan Zimunya Joan Zimunya kindly touch your eyes touch your eyes e rekete voro soko rikisi as you see me demonstrate as you see me demonstrate touch your eyes Joan Zimunya e rekita rakase ke voro koso kovu buti cover your eyes as you see me cover my own e reketa vuto suku rabato suku ribatari e kabobo tu suku ribatari e kabobo tu suku rabato roko suba na kinga intaraka si kimoto koshu bareke si iba rabato suku ribatari kete voro kuba rakadere in Jesus name in Jesus name Father we bring all your Father Lucy Jerry Lucy Jerry e rekita voto roko soko ribata vuto suku Ribata. Lucy Jerry, kindly press your hands on on um this is your uh as you if you are looking at me, Lucy Jerry, uh this is your throat. Kindly press your light hand on top of your throat. Kindly press your hand on top of your throat. Erekita raboso koribata ributo shoti kade isaka boto roko boti kade bo shuka la kade leki siki bo rushe boti isiki mo rukuta rakase ke bo rokosho o reboto sukuribate le kinga raboto sukuribati chi in Jesus name move your hands on this side of your uh, the right side the right side of your of your um, the right side of your right here on the right side on, uh, is around your stomach but on the right side on your right side erekita rakase ke botoko soko ribati e karuvu suku ribatari isikibo rushu tu rakase ke borose ke boturiki in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name or reketi vurukuse handarevo roko suku ribatari ikaboto ruku suku ribatari ikanabo roso komi nare in Jesus name, in Jesus name, and the river Rukusumaniki, in Jesus holy mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. My God, oh dear Father, I bring oh dear Father. Salimo di aro Jesus Christ. E rekita boto roko soko riba tareke. Si kaboto subarikshi. E sakavo to roko suburu batere. E kabuto suku riba tareke. Se kimo roko shoti. E kaboto ruku suku riba tele. Ki kabopo toso. O reko roko soko riti. Si kibo ruku suka rebo. I si kamo roko soko rikate. Hilda, kindly lift up your hand. On the screen, please. E rekita rakoso koriba rakase. E kurushi tareke se kivo ruba tare. E se kimo ruta kase ke bubo toso koriba tare si. Kika rabo toso. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Father, we bring O dear Father. Ya answer O dear Father. E rekita rakase kivo rushu tibo ruku dare. E kabobo to ruku so koriba tati. E si kivo roshe moto ruko varibati. In Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Father, we bring, oh dear Father, Hilda, oh dear Father, Erekita Raka Seke Borro Shoto Ruku Seki Inde, Eva Riboto Soko Ribatese, Era Kanta Rekiti Siki Borro Ko. Move your hands to your chest, Hilda. Erekete Boruku Suba Reke Voroshe Ti Yatse, Eva Reboto Roko Soko Botu Rushate, Eva Raboto Roko Seki Boruba Tareke, Seka Bobo Tushi, Eka Raboto Roko Mane Seki, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, I bring all your father, your children, all your father, Rekete Sikamoro. 
for Susan. Ekere putu rokosu kuribata reke. Your breast and highly favored in Jesus name. For Lydia. Ere kita botoso kuribata reke. Shika raka. Your breast and highly favored in Jesus name. For Joan Zimunya. Dekede puru kosa kareoso moneke. Your breast and highly favored in Jesus name. For Lucy. Ere kita rakaseke botuku ruku tarekese. Kimo roshotu ruko darakase. In Jesus name. Your breast and highly favored in Jesus name. For Sali. Madakete botu rukusha madeke. Leke mondo rika sakabo. In Jesus name. Your highly blessed and highly favored in Jesus name. Nikarabo tono rokoso. For Yansen. Yansen. Eke no moto ruku suma reke. Burisiki na ranka nerekese. Nikarabo to tengarebo tu ruku sukuri batare. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Ereki your blessed and highly favored in Jesus name. For Hilda. Erekambo to ruku sukuri batare. Kese kinga raboto rusu ngana ngana nini kise moro. Your blessed and highly favored in Jesus name. Father I bring all your children. Your Lord, your Father, Erekita Rakase Kemo Ruku Suku Ribatare. Ereki Boroko Soko Riva Rakasike, Ikaboto Rukusuma, Neketi Baraboto, Ekarabu Soko Ribatare, Keseka Vuma, Esekimo Roko Shoto. Father, I bring all your Father, Esa, I bring Esa, all your Father, Brother Esa, I bring uh, Hilda, I bring Joanne. I bring Lucy, I bring Lydia, I bring Pamela, I bring Pastor Peter, Ruth, Apostle Salim, Sa Sarah, Shiko, Bishop Simon, Susan, Yangson, and Minister Yoranda. Erekita rakase kevo ruku shita rakase kevo ruku tareketa vo. Ese kimo rokota rakashete le kifo. Father, my God, whatever they came here for, dear Father, my God, they came because of you, Jesus. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power and the authority that you have given me, oh dear Father, to speak the truth by your spirit of truth. Father, reward each and every one of them that are gathered here in your name. Reward every one of them. Reward them. Let them receive more than what they came here for. Whatever they came here for, is it to praise you, Father? Is it to worship you, Father? Is it to ask you, Father? Is it to seek? Is it to, to knock? Is it to, 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 to ask you, Father? Whatever it is, Father. Father, open the doors for them, the ones who are, who are knocking. Father, let them uh, find all those who are seeking. Let them find whatever they're seeking and whatever they have come to ask you, Lord Jesus Christ. Give them overflow. Give them overflow. Answer them, O oh dear Father. For you are the one, O oh dear Father. You are the one who brought them, O oh dear Father. Lord Jesus Christ, let them go back home, O oh dear Father, wherever they are. Let them continue with their daily life, O oh dear Father. Worshipping you, praising you, but Lord Jesus, more than that. Give them more than what they came for, O oh dear Father. Reward each and every one of them. Reward each and every one of them, oh Dear Father, for your glory, for your glory, for your glory, oh Lord Jesus Christ. He caboto rocoso corribata rekesi. He caraboto rucusuma rekete kida rakasi. We want them, oh dear Father, for your glory and honor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. He caboto rucusuma rekebo rucusitele. He se kemo rocovo, but he carabotoso for your glory. We give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and our back to you, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Papa. Maisha yetu baba, tawala menendo yetu baba, tawala kila kitu chote baba, tawasema ni asanti. Mungu baba, tawasema ni asanti kwa yote baba, mungu baba. Tawasema ni asanti baba kwa tukuzungukia na malaika wako moto. Malaika wako wa ugeza, malaika wako wa peace, love and unity. Oh father, kutuwongoza mungu baba, kutigida kase kivuruku. Tuzungukia baba na nguvu zako zote. Mungu baba, tikina motoro kosu kuriba tareki voto roko ngege. Yerinye hana motoro rakante. Handa reke de moto, kanga voto omitila. Handa reke tika in the name of Toroko, for your glory, oh dear Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mungu Baba Tasebani Asanti. Hallelujah, Baba. Ika boto roko soko ribata reke. Muandere tinga rakata reke moto roko sinka revo to riandere. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We give glory and our back to you, Jesus. We give glory and our back to your spirit. 
We give glory and about you, Almighty God. Father, we give glory and about you, Jesus Christ. We give glory and about you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and about you, Almighty God. Father, we give glory and about you, Jesus Christ. We give glory and about you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and about you, Almighty God. For it's in Jesus' name. For it's in Jesus' name. For it's in Jesus' holy mighty name we pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on others in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins. And see, forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy the kingdom, the power, the glory are all yours, now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. Father, rekete borroko soko ribata rekese ke morroko shede lakase. Iba rebo toro, kobo tiba rabo sumi. Ika bobo toro kosikiti. Ika bobo tu ribata rekese ke borro shate lakanda ireaji. Harakabo tu sukuri. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on others in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As he forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that the kingdom, the power, the glory are all yours now and forevermore. Amen. I'm being told to tell each and every one of you who have contributed for the mission trip um, to place your light hand on top of your chest. Those who have contributed and those who are yet to contribute and you want to contribute for the mission trip that is coming on July, that is coming on July. Everyone who is going to contribute and uh, the ones who are going to contribute and the ones who have already contributed or they are going to contribute or will continue to contribute kindly press your hands on top of your chest right now as i commit all this to you oh mighty god father you kid arakate borroko shete lekabo e borroso koribata rekese e barebo toso koribata rekesi kaboroko shotoro so mareke for some of you you may ask or you are asking, why am I contributing? Is this another, another, another church that asks to 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 pay for our prayers? No. Don't, don't, don't. If you don't want to contribute, don't contribute, please, because we are we serve a living God, and when you contribute, you, you are you are your finances. It, it takes the word of God to all those corners of the world that God is sending us. And since you are not coming with us physically, your finances physically support the ministry of God to go and reach those areas. And we are not able to go to those areas with our might, with our strength. We go by the, the power, the mighty power of God who himself he, he he says right now he's saying that for you who want to contribute who want to 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 invest and and say i want to see other people being blessed i want to see other people's life being transformed and you can see we have already gone to our first mission trip our second mission trip this is gonna be our third mission trip we go every time we go mission trip to all corners of the world wherever god send us and he's always with us so you are the one sitting there saying i want to contribute i want to support this ministry all those who are going to do that and those who are not going to do that we also bless you also because you have a reason why behind it you don't want to but remember we are not we are we don't do we don't sell prayers there are people who have thought that oh do we do i need to to give offering or uh, or donation to be prayed for no prayers are for free they are free and god is saying that clearly to you right now do not under any circumstance open your mouth and say that are they selling prayers if you do that you bring calamity for yourself so please my brothers my sisters let's do god's work you may be uh we cannot all be in the in the pulpit we cannot all be in the mission trip some of us will go 
and some of us will go with their finances meaning uh your finances will take us to the destination because god has blessed you to be a blessing he has not blessed you to just observe and sit he has blessed you to be active active in his in his kingdom and you being in his kingdom and you being a kingdom child a, a, a child of god an ambassador you may not be with us physically there in the mission trip but your finances make the work of god easier for the ones who are going and because of that those who have given and those who are going to give and those who are going to continue giving kindly uh press your right hand as uh, on your on your chest as you have been told to do so as god commit these offerings uh, and those who have who want to give and they don't have press your hands also on your chest those who are willing to give and they don't have press your hands on on your chest for god sees your heart for god sees your mind he sees more than he sees it. Ere kibo roko so kuribata reke se kevo rushu tarakavo. He kabo poto roko subareke tikisi. He varabo to roko tu subareka shiti. He kabo poto rikata reke se kinga rabo. Ni varabo to so kuribata reke vo badaka. I varabo tu su kuribata reke se kadikisi. He varabo tu overflow in jesus name father my god oh dear father you are god who prospers all your children oh dear father you are god who oh you answers all your children and always father you give oh dear father to, to you bless others to be a blessing oh dear father and father my god oh dear father thank you jesus for overflow Thank you, Jesus, for overflow in each and every one who have given and those who are going to give, Father. My God, may you bless them, oh dear Father. Bless them, oh dear Father, because they are willing to want other people to be reached other people to be to be to be blessed also because father when they give they are not giving to any man they are not giving to any woman they are not giving to anybody father they are giving to you oh dear father because when they give oh dear father it's not that you don't have father but father is just you are you bless them to be a blessing father and you watch to see what they will do with what they have been blessed with oh dear father and father my god all those who are who have given oh dear father i commit all of them oh dear father all those who are who will and who are willing to do oh dear father and who are who who, who wants to give but they don't have oh dear father my god i commit all those reward them oh dear father each and every one of them reward them in jesus name reward them oh dear father because you are the one who rewards oh dear father all the children all your children oh dear father Kaboto so kori batere ki si kimo roko se nginga rabote nganyingi lamo nyane se in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name Father we give glory and our back to you Jesus we give glory and our back to you Holy Spirit we give glory and our back to you Mary God for it's in Jesus name for it's in Jesus name for it's in Jesus holy mighty name we pray and believe Amen 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 our Father who art in heaven holy be thy name thy kingdom come that will be done on others in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins and see forgive those who sin against us lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil for thy the kingdom the power the glory are all yours now and forevermore amen our father who art in heaven holy be thy name thy kingdom come that will be done on others in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins and see forgive those who sin against us lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil for thy the kingdom the power the glory are all yours now and forevermore amen our father who art in heaven holy be thy name thy kingdom come that will be done on others in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as if forgive those who sin against us lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil for thy the kingdom the power the glory are all yours now and forevermore amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now now and forevermore amen 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 pastor peter please Uh, thank you so much uh, for that uh, uh, wonderful prayer session. And now we're going to pray for the tithe and offerings. 
And uh, after that, we are going to no, we say are the going credit. To uh, admin, admin. Okay. Well, thank you for correcting me. Uh, let's go straight to the admin update. Welcome. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining us today and ask that you continue to join us daily for prayers and we give God the glory for all that he is doing in all of our lives and in this mission <clears throat> amongst these missionaries. And uh, as you know, there's a mission trip coming up in July and we pray that you, I mean, ask that you pray for these people and and that you that you pray that they will be bold and empowered by the Holy Spirit with truth and they speak the word of God and that people are saved. And that the Lord works through them in powerful ways, even miracles and wonders and signs. And they will be traveling to Texas and Oregon and Zimbabwe and Zambia and Malawi and Tanzania and Kenya and Uganda. And then back to the USA to continue their mission trip. And you can give through Cash App or Zelle or GoFundMe or Mpisa or PayPal. And thank you to all those who have recently given. And uh, thank you to Lo Yolanda in Oklahoma who gave through Zelle. Thank you to Mercy in UK who gave through GoFundMe. Thank you to Ruth in Kenya who gave through Mpisa. And thank you to Miriam in Kenya who gave through Mpisa. And remember in Luke 6.38 it says, Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And I uh, thank you and give it back over to Pastor Peter. Okay, th uh, thank you for that admin update. Uh, so now we're going straight to the the, the, the prayer for tithes and offerings. And uh, after that, we say the grace and then uh, we'll pass it on to Matteo to do the ironic blessing. Uh, let's close our eyes. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful unto thee at this moment, dear Lord. Thank you, King of Glory, for your goodness, for your mercy, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jehovah God, for that prayer session and the many, the many blessings that you've given unto us, the many goodies, Heavenly Father. Man, and from heaven, everyone at least has received some, some, something from you, dear Lord. Jehovah God, we receive it with gladness. And we thank you very sincerely, dear Lord. We praise you. We uplift and exalt our name, dear Lord. Lord, there's no other God like you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Jehovah God, now as we part, as we part ways and we go to our places, uh, as we go to sleep, others will go to work, others will go to do their businesses or places. Dear Lord, we are committing ourselves unto thee and we pray that you will be with us, Heavenly Father. Be even in us, Heavenly Father. Jehovah God, that we shall be taught of God, Heavenly Father, even as we go. We need you, Heavenly Father, every minute, every hour, every second, Heavenly Father. Hold on our hands and lead us on, oh Heavenly Father. Take preeminence, Heavenly Father. Take the rulership of our lives, dear Lord. May you take even the even the even the, the lordship of our lives, dear Lord. King of glory, we need to have a closer walk with thee, dear Lord. We praise you, we thank you, we honor you, Jehovah God. For it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. And with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Matthews, please. Yes, I'm here. Matteo is not here. Uh, so I will do the prayers for today. Uh, the the blessings in Numbers, Numbers chapter six, verse twenty four to twenty six. Please kindly repeat this after me, and I want you to declare this for yourself. Please declare it for yourself. It is important. Remember, it's blessings that you are blessing yourself and claiming it because remember, <laughs> your mouth forms your future. No one else can form your future but you yourself. So let's do this. Uh, may the Lord bless me. May the Lord bless me. Uh, the, the, the part of you 
uh, say me, like you, me, you, you declared for yourself. So let's start again. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord, May the Lord, bless, the Lord bless you. you. And keep you. And, and keep, keep you. you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the May Lord the make Lord his, his face, face shine, shine upon, upon me. me. And be gracious to you. And be and gracious, be gracious to, to me. me. May the Lord turn his face toward you. May, May the Lord turn his face, face, face toward me. Toward me. me. And give you peace in Jesus' name. And give me peace, 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 peace in Jesus' name. Peace in Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And may peace of God be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, Holy Spirit, and in thy name, thy kingdom come, and will be done on others in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. We forgive those who sin against you. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. do that. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the precious of the Holy Spirit. Now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Shalom. Shalom, everyone. Thank you very much. Shalom. 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 See you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Thank you, guys. Shalom, shalom, shalom. May peace of God be with you all. In Jesus' name. Amen.